Hi and welcome to our channel. I'm ready to get my hands dirty. It's clean the coop day. Oh, what are you doing behind there? Chucky. I guess this only can mean one thing. There's a cat in our coop. Timmy, what are you doing in there? I tell you what he's doing. He's He's been hearing scratching, so there's mice that are living in the walls of the caravan, I think. And he's waiting to pounce. So Timmy's hunting right now. Good boy, Timmy. This is his job. He's the hunter of the land. At least for a change, he's not sitting on the eggs. He does that sometimes and it looks pretty funny. Now it's time to clean the coop. I clean the coop every two days. It's not that hard really to keep clean. Where they sit on their perch, I've put sand underneath where they sit on their perch so it's really easy to take out. After I do that, I just sort out the straw on the floor because they like scratching for the food that they might have dropped when they're eating. And then I give them some food. If their water is a little bit manky or nearly finished, I will top it up and clean out the container. Calm down. What's wrong? What's wrong? Calm down. Calm down. Good girl. That's it, really. It doesn't take very long. Good girl, Henrietta. Good girl. Hey guys. Well, now that I've got a bunch of these shingles, which I made in my last video, I need to shave them. If you don't, I mean, they're quite nice, even like this. They're really nice and rustic, you know. But I um, mean, clean this away the bark because insects can burrow in it and yeah so that comes off pretty easy um so now i need a shave horse now a shave horse i only discovered what it even is like last week um is a tool to basically hold whatever you're working on so then you can use a draw knife this is mine it's a friend of mine's i'm buying and then you'll be able to shave away like that all these ridges so it's nice and flat I think uh, you do this because otherwise if you're going to use these for roof shingles you'll get a lot of water caught into in these ridges here so that won't be a good thing because then it'll sit there and rot the wood one of the best ways to make a shave horse is using a shave horse which kind of gives you a bit of a dilemma but a friend of mine found an old pine log and we're gonna split it and make two of them between us it is pine it's not the best wood for it but that's what we've got for now and I thought for now it makes more sense to build something quick and not beautiful and perfect just to learn how it's done and how it works and just as a trial basically and then hopefully I'll be able to use that one and in the future build a proper one a nice one on our land we mostly have pine trees, cork oaks and holm oaks. Now holm oaks and cork, cork oaks are both protected in Portugal so I need something else to make my next one out of. Um, but we do have a valley which we haven't had access to just because of the amount of brambles which is on the other side of the, the main ruin, the main house. Um, so hopefully sometime soon I'll try and venture in there with a, with a chainsaw and with some... <laughs> Shut up! I'll try and venture in there with a chainsaw and maybe some sectors to cut everything away and maybe take a photo of a few of the big trees I've seen in there which I haven't yet identified. Hopefully I'll find something decent to be able to chop down and make my forever shave horse. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how it goes. Let's get on to building this one.
Guys, what are you all doing here? Why are you all leaving? You're never here normally. Many a times throughout this project, Luke realized just how much he needs a shave horse to make this shave horse. At one point he made me sit on one of the pieces of wood. We don't have this on camera, but I was sitting on it while he was trying to shave it, which was a tad bit uncomfortable for me and I don't think it worked quite as well. <laughs> I kept this footage because I love it. Yeah, Molly is chasing Sandy too. And he comes very close to the camera. I love this shot. Good girl, Molly, come. Even though it's a tiny bit wobbly. But the chookies are in this garden. Now I've started putting a little bit of corn every day for them in here because I want them to scratch the garden out because we are going to plant our beans in here. I want them to aerate the soil and poop a little bit in there and do it on not wow. So thank you Chookies again for doing this for us and giving us your poo. Now back to the working man again. He's still banging and drilling and sawing and thumping and hammering and all sorts of noisy things. Making legs, making legs. Alrighty, and there it is, my very first 
shave hoards or foot held vice. Pretty easy to use. You can use this block to adjust how high you want it, so it depends on the thickness of the piece you want to shave. So I'll just push that forward, then uh, grab one of these and put it there, and then just with your feet hold it down. And uh, pretty effective. Alright, so now I've got plenty of uh, shingles to shave down, which will keep me busy. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed this project, eh? I mean, it's the first time I've done something like this all by hand, so it was uh, definitely a learning experience. I just find it so cool that back in the day, and even nowadays, I guess, people can just go into a forest, you know, they used to go in just with a couple of axes and a throw and just cut down trees and make the tools they need to, to build other stuff. I just find that really, really cool. Come on. Molly, come. Up, Daddy. Up, Daddy. Pretty good for the first try. <laughs> Not bad. At Not least bad. I can use this ugly one to make my forever one. Come on, Molly. Come on, Molly. Oh, <laughs> sit down, sit down. Calm down. She's excited too. Okay. <laughs> Today she's going to the vet, so we'll see how that goes. Happy New Year, guys. It's uh, Thursday today, so New Year's Eve. Hopefully next year will be better for everyone. <laughs> and yeah, just make sure you watch to the end. I've got a really cool hack on how to cook naan without a tandoor. So check that out. Enjoy. <laughs> She's interested. You're gonna talk her through it, Luke. So she learns. Today, before we go, I just wanted to show you this quick hack on a better way to cook naan without a tandoor oven. You may have seen my video on naan about two or three months ago, I'm not sure, but I'll put the link here. And so, Last time I showed you that I cook it on an upside down wok like this. Always be careful how well it's uh, situated on top of the cooker just because it has a tendency to slip off and no one wants a really hot wok landing on their feet or pet. That is super super hot now as you can see and I'm going to chuck my naan on it so I'll just quickly open one of these. If you love naan, you really should try this recipe out. Hey, I've been doing it so often now, and it just gets easier and easier. All right. That's our naan on. And now for the unorthodox way to cook it. Ah, oh, yeah! <laughs> put the dangerous weapon away I thought of this because in a in a tandoor oven whoops that moved in a tandoor oven you stick it to the clay so you get the cooked this side with the clay and then you've got the fire coming up from the middle and that's what cooks it so quick like in a minute um, it really does work be careful don't burn your houses down and sue me whatever you do um, so do this at your own risk uh, but it really, really does work, and you end up with a really nice, chewy, but crispy naan. It's really, really nice, and it's super quick. Anyway, that's it from me and Sarah, and we'll see you next time. Bye.
hopefully there'll be something decent that I'll be able to chop down. Shut up! <laughs>